So when I first bought this truck, bought it with almost 80,000 miles on it, it had a transmission flush done at about 58 or 59, according to the Carfax. When I got it shortly after, I went ahead and changed the fluid twice. The very first time, I found a decent amount of friction material on the magnet that's in the transmission pan. Now, I kind of had a feeling that uh, that was indicative of some issues with the clutch packs wearing down. Uh, really, these 6L80s, you should at least drop the pan every 30,000, but it's possible that the flush that the prior owner did with this with a, a flushing machine at a shop could have uh, had an effect there as well. I've tried uh, Lube Guard, and that did take care of some of the issue with the torque converter. The torque converters are kind of wonky in these GM trucks. So I just wanted to try this out. The uh, next step after this is to rebuild and replace the transmission, but hopefully this will allow me to get maybe 30,000 more miles out of it. Truck seems to run okay now. Uh, I can kind of tell that the transmission's a little worn. This stuff, we might actually be able to get some more life out of this transmission. That's kind of what this is for. Uh, it's not going to fix anything that's broken, but it will prolong. It will allow you to get some more life out of your machine. But in most cases, if you have worn clutch discs, this will allow you to get some extra life out of it. But it is not a fix in a bottle. It's uh, really just a band-aid, best case scenario. Let's give it a shot. First, what we have to do is drain about a quart out of the system. And to do that, I'm going to undo the top radiator line for the transmission cooler, and then put some hoses on it, run those hoses to that pitcher right there, turn the truck on, get about a quart out, then we'll put the transmission stop slip in. All right, so let's pull this cap back. Just like that. Then you have a uh, metal C-clip that's retaining it. So we'll pull that off as well. So with the clip removed, just pull back on this fluid line. It will drip a little bit. So this is what I mean. I've got a line going from the aluminum line and then right off of the end of the radiator. So we're just gonna turn the truck on for a few seconds, let it cycle some fluid out, verify that there's a quart removed and in, into that uh, pitcher. It's about a quart. Just have to pull the pitcher out. So now with that part done, I'll we'll just take both of the fluid lines off. One quart, just what I needed. Now just take the dipstick out. Get yourself the proper size funnel. So when you go to put the stuff in, it works best and mixes the best when the vehicle's turned on. It is pretty thick, so what we'll do is just kind of start it. And once it gets to be about halfway, I'm just going to drop the whole bottle inside of the funnel. So I'm just going to let it set for a little bit. The bottle's almost empty. Just get the last bit of residual out. So I'm going to let it do its thing for a little bit longer, then we'll get it onto the ground, verify the level, take it on a road test. So I noticed a marked difference. Put about 100 miles on it, and I noticed that that 2-3 shift is a lot smoother now, and that's where I, where I was really noticing a lot of the uh, issue, if you could even say that. But I think... Uh, if I get another couple years out of this transmission with this Lucas in it, it's a, that's a good enough deal for me, to be honest. 
but so far so good haven't noticed any issues if I have any issues or if there's you know something catastrophic that happens in between now and then I will make an update video to this one and put that link in the description for you guys but I don't anticipate that we're really gonna have much more of an issue with anything Yeah, it seems to shift just fine. But I'm gonna continue driving it, see how it goes. It's been a few days since I put that Lucas in. We'll see how it turns out. But until that next video comes, you guys stay tuned for more.